it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls and today it is time for an Ipsy review from August and my unboxing for September. So stay tuned if you want to see what I got. So guys, this was the bag from the August Ipsy um, monthly subscription service and I liked the bag. I thought it had this cool kind of plasticky houndstooth pattern and it was an okay bag. Not my favorite but definitely not the worst that I've ever gotten. Um, I'm going to do a quick review of the items I got in that one that I tested out. Um, this first thing is this Douce eyeliner, and this one is in the color, um, or number 500. Don't know if this one actually had a color, but it's basically just a really creamy black matte eyeliner. I'm actually wearing it over um, some of my other eyeliner today, and it's very creamy. It's very nice. It does, um, I think fade over time. I don't think it's like an all day type of um, eyeliner, but it is supposed to be waterproof. But it is very creamy, very black, and a very nice matte liner. The next thing that I got from the August bag was this Ultra Mild Face Wash by Lather. And I'm a big fan of face washes, and this was a really nice one. It's a very algae kind of smelling very natural kind of smelling face wash, but I liked it, I, and I did think that it was mild. It wasn't too harsh. It didn't completely dry me out, um, but it was really, um, I think for a balanced kind of skin, it was very nice, and I will continue to use this up. The next thing that I got in my bag was this Marc Anthony um, Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco, and I basically used this in my hair, and what I really like about it is that this is like a flip cap so that you can easily pour in a little bit and work it into your hair. Um, I don't think it's like my favorite oil of all time, but I definitely will use it to kind of help keep my hair kind of nourished. But this was really nice, um, especially for this travel size, and I feel like you can definitely like replenish it if it's empty, so that is cool. I like the packaging on this for sure. Next up is this Hykara um, Merlot Lip Gloss, and I was really, I had high hopes for this because it actually is really pigmented, it's got this very deep color, but when I put it on my lips, it kind of went everywhere throughout the day, so I basically looked like I was a clown by the end of the day, which it's not attractive, unfortunately, so I don't think I will be using this. Wasn't really impressed. It didn't stay. It just went all over the place. And last but not least is this Trust Fund Beauty. This is a very, very nice um, purple lavender polish in the shade Elegantly Wasted, which I love the name of that. And I will show you a swatch of this. It is a gorgeous light purple. Very pretty. Two coats to get opaque. Uh, this is my first time having a polish from this brand, so I really did like it. Definitely will be fun to add this color to my collection. Um, and that was it for my August bag. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up September to see what we got. It doesn't seem, it kind of seems like a really thin bag this month, so I don't know. Okay, so, oh my gosh. I love this bag. Okay, it's Face of Fashion is the theme. And I'm assuming that's because Fashion Week happens in September. Um, but it says, Face the future, smokier, deeper, richer. This September, leave the past behind and take the leap into fall with a glam bag made to inspire the perfect transition from summertime casual to autumn elegance. Um, so that's actually really exciting. This bag is absolutely gorgeous. It has like a rubbery type texture, but I love that. And it's like gold on the back. This is one of my favorite recent bags. This is very, very cool. So, the first thing I see is another Tray Chic. This is the Mini Lip Crayon in Nantucket Nude, which is such a cute name. Or is that upside down? Um, nope, that was right. So that's kind of cool. I like it because it actually looks like a little pen. I got an eyeshadow from them, I think, two months ago. And this is supposed to be a lip crayon. So this is an extremely nude shade. I'll give you a swatch. And it's very nice and creamy. Um, very, very nude. I don't know if that's, it's kind of like a yellowy tan. I don't know, that might not look good with my skin, but I am excited to try that out because I did like the Tray Chic eyeshadow. Next up is Bayberry Naturals, the Rose Hip and Hibiscus Moisturizer. Um, so this is interesting. Apply to face and neck every morning and evening after your cleanser and toner. Okay, well let's see just what this smells like. 
So it's kind of a milky texture, substance. <laughs> it's very nice, very, very moisturizing. And it has a very, very light scent. Like it's almost, it is a slightly floral, but nothing sickening or too overpowering. And that's what it looks like close up. That will be interesting to try. Then I see the phoenix. When you need to rise from the ashes yet again. Oh, that's cute. And this is, says, Not Soap Radio in Persimmon Plum. And it's a hand and body lotion. So that's interesting. This is what it looks like. I have never seen anything like that before. And on the back, um, it says, Resigned to your glass always being half empty? Question mark. Spirit as deflated as the floats the day after Thanksgiving parade? Here's some reinforcement to help you rise to the occasion. That's cute. I like the name. Like, that was creative, guys. Oh my gosh, I think I actually like this. This is definitely, I can smell the persimmon. So this is what it looks like. Kind of a jelly um, lotion. It has an interesting floral scent. It almost kind of smells, I guess it's the plum, but it kind of smells like licorice. I don't really like licorice. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I like the persimmon. I just don't like the plummy licorice smell. Interesting. It doesn't feel greasy at all. It feels very like, like since it's kind of gel more like than cream, it, feel, it feels like it's sinking in nicely and it's not greasy. Very cute though. Very different. Okay, next up is an Ipsy with NYX. Oh man, looks like they collaborated to do something special. Um, this is a three color shadow palette and it doesn't actually have a name maybe it's just the Ipsy NYX palette but anyway let's see we'll do some swatches see if these are nice normally NYX has some really gorgeous eyeshadows um, and these this does look very perfect for fall so let's do some swatches looks like there's a matte black um, a brown and kind of a lighter creamy shade They're kind of pigmented. Interesting. That brown is a beautiful shimmer brown. The matte black is kind of just your typical matte black. And then it's hard to see the other one. The other one's kind of a lot lighter. Um, but it is kind of a nice like autumn kind of quad. So the brown I'm really looking forward to using. And then last but not least, guys, is this tiny product. This is called, oh, it's a cream blush. And it's called Ash which is cute. That's my name, Ashley. So I like it. I like it. Very pretty pink color. So that's what it looks like. And there it is. So if we buff it out. I don't know. I feel like I buffed it too much. <laughs> we put some more on there. So that'll be an interesting. There you go. There's the nice shade. It'll be interesting. I don't have a ton of cream blushes, but I do think they're really pretty. So I definitely will try these out and let you guys um, know what I think. To be honest, there weren't any like super high-end products that really were like exciting to get. I'm really, I do like the Tray Chic stuff, so I hope this shadow works for me. I do love NYX eyeshadow, so that is exciting as well. Um, the lotions, eh, not like really excited. The cream blush. I hope that works out. I think that will be a really cool product. And I like how it's small because you don't really need a lot when it comes to cream for blushes. But that's what I got in my Ipsy bag, guys. Let me know what you got this time. Did you get anything different? Were you excited about anything? Um, I still really like Ipsy even though I feel like this month and last month weren't the most exciting. But the months prior to that, we were getting some really good high-end products. So um, I'm still hopeful. Still think it's worth the $10 every month. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!